Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Taking a look at the Roland 540, it's a dual envelope generator with cycling envelopes and it also features an LFO which is in the center. So each envelope has three outputs, two of the outputs are positive and the last one is negative. Now the envelope has two switches, one lets you switch between a slow and fast mode and the other one switches between external trigger and internal cycling mode. Now cycle mode turns it into a sort of LFO and you can control the shape and frequency with the attack and decay settings. Now over on the left here we have a manual button. When pushed, it fires the envelope. Now in the center you have your controls for the LFO. You can output all these waveforms here simultaneously. And it also has frequency input for control over the speed. Now you also have onset delay here. And this delay can actually be reset every time you trigger an envelope as well. And that's the function of this delay trig switch. Next that you have keyboard trigger. This is actually the waveform reset of the LFO. So you actually get a phase reset on the LFO's waveform whenever the envelope fires. Finally, we have a frequency range switch, which lets us toggle between high, medium, and low LFO speeds. As I'll show you though, if we plug in a DC input to the CV frequency of the LFO, you can actually get it to go much faster than it goes ordinarily. Okay, so that much you can tell just by looking at the front panel or glancing through the manual. So what I want to do is just demonstrate the shape and speed and general character of the envelope section to you, so you can actually hear it for yourself. Switching to slow mode, let's take a listen now to the attack. Okay, so next we're going to switch to cycling mode, and I'm going to show you how fast the envelope can go. But you're also going to see how twitchy the controls can be as well. Okay, so we're now taking a look at the LFO here, and I've got keyboard trigger on, so I can fire this envelope, reset the waveform, and you can hear a single cycle in the low setting. Let's take a look now at the fastest setting of the LFO. However, as I said earlier, if you use an offset, you can actually increase that speed. So I'm going to slowly dial that in now. Okay, so that's the end of my demonstration of the Roland 540. So I'll end with my impressions of the build quality of the module. Now, I'm no engineer, so I can't tell you technically how well it's made, how good the parts are, but what I can tell you is how it feels in use. And as you can see, I have a few of these modules from Roland and they all feel really good. The parts have fantastic resistance to them. The switches are very solid. However, across the modules, the faders don't feel quite as good. They've got a fair amount of side to side wiggle and they can look a little skew when you're just sitting there looking at the modules. Now I want to stress that I don't have any concerns about them. I don't think they're going to break or anything like that. It's just that they have a fair bit of give, which is quite a stark contrast to the rest of the controls, which all feel very solid and firm. Now you can see the faders aren't terribly long, so in use it can be a little tricky dialing in the exact kind of timing you're looking for, but I wouldn't call it frustrating. Okay. 
Okay, so I hope you found that video useful, informative. It's not very musical, but it is just meant to demonstrate the actual character of the envelope itself and the speeds that it's capable of. So thanks very much for watching, guys and girls. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.